Hey guys, welcome to my 25th week bump date, bump date on baby. So this week baby is the size of a rutabaga. I don't know what a rutabaga is, but that's the size of the baby. Also, baby is starting to gain more fat, so looking less skinny. And also, more hair is growing. It said if you could see, you could tell the color of baby's hair and the texture. Baby is starting to cycle between REM sleep and non-REM sleep every 20 to 40 minutes. So that's new with baby. Me, I'm doing pretty well. I'm definitely feeling huge. It's getting harder and harder as the weeks go on for me to get up, for me to bend over. <laughs> uh, yeah, just moving is just getting harder. I feel like I'm already like at, my, at the end of my third trimester and I'm not even done with the second trimester yet and I'm already like struggling. <laughs> So I'm really scared. I'm just much bigger much earlier on and so I don't know if that means that like I'll just get bigger and then just like stop and I'll just be like my full like growth earlier on or if it's just I'm gonna be the biggest I've ever been which you would think with a girl I wouldn't be as big because girls are usually tinier than boys and like when we did the anatomy scan she was in like the 30 something percentile so she's tiny but I don't know if it's her or my body or what but man I just feel huge it's very hard for me to fit in any non maternity shirts which is really hard because I don't have a lot of maternity shirts. I have such a hard time having a big wardrobe of maternity when you only wear them for a couple months and then, you know, you don't wear them anymore. So I have a hard time like spending more money on more uh, shirts. It's really shirts that I need, like pants I'm fine because I have leggings and I have jeans and I really don't need anything else. But it's the shirts that I'm having a hard time like finding things that will fit me. I'm also starting to run out of night shirts to wear. Usually I just wear like like t-shirts that, I don't know, just like baggy t-shirts, but all my baggy t-shirts are starting to get very uh, snug on me. I remember with my first two pregnancies, at the end I have to eventually borrow Anthony's large t-shirts and start wearing those because my medium-sized t-shirts just don't cut it. So I'm getting close to that. But like I said, it's just like when I'm down on the ground playing with the kids, it's so hard for me to stand up. If I drop something, it's so hard for me to bend over. I have to like catch myself, otherwise I'll just like groan <laughs> all the time. Anthony always comments on it and I don't do it intentionally. It just, I don't even think about it. I'm just like groaning every time I'm moving. <laughs> so anyway. It's fine, but definitely starting to feel limited here and there. I've been having a bit of headaches lately. I actually had a headache last night as I went to bed, took medicine, and then I woke up this morning and I had a headache again. Super annoying. So then I, I just, I tried to go through the whole morning hoping it would go away and it just didn't. So I finally took medicine just a little bit ago, but yeah, that's, that's not been fun. I've been um, really gassy lately, I'm not really sure what that's about. Um, still getting leg cramps, not as often as before. I'd say maybe it's like once or twice a week, so it's not too bad. My back has started to hurt a lot more. I'm getting closer and closer to needing to wear that belly band. I haven't gotten it out yet, but I know it's coming soon. I have a really hard time finding a comfortable position sitting a comfortable position sleeping. I'm gonna have to get my pregnancy pillow out soon, which I'll be interested to see if I like it because with my first pregnancy, I loved my pregnancy pillow. With my second pregnancy, I hated my pregnancy pillow. So it'll be interesting to see with this third one what I think of it. I find that the best position for me um, instead of sitting is to just lay down on my side so that my belly can just kind of like rest on like to the side I don't know it just feels the best to me 
So I find myself trying to lay as much as I can. I still get hit with the pregnancy insomnia. Um, if I wake up in the middle of the night, I just can't go back to sleep. So that's been really annoying and just makes me tired. I've been getting more tired for sure. I haven't really been having any cravings. I really haven't been snacking. Like I just, I don't ever really want to snack. I just eat my three meals and that's usually about it. Sometimes I might snack on like an apple or I've been liking goldfish lately. Um, but other than that, I don't usually want to eat anything other than just meals. Baby has been moving a ton. She's super active at night, right before I go to bed. And she's super active in the morning as well. Don't feel her too much during the day, but I think that's obvious, like I'm just running around anyway. She hates it when I'm like sitting and I'm hunched over. If I'm putting like pressure like that on my belly, I always feel her kick like crazy. So she is very mobile, very active, super fun to feel her. Her kicks are getting more and more active. I feel them very low, and then I've been starting to feel them up high too. So she's just all over my belly. It's super fun to feel her. This week, I had my most recent doctor's appointment. So I'll talk about that. I went in and I think this was my fastest appointment yet, which I had a feeling that it would be because it was just like a regular appointment. There was nothing special about it. So I went in and left a urine sample. They took my blood pressure, got my weight. I've gained like four pounds since last time. So definitely gaining weight. Then they took me in a room and they gave me um, a couple papers to prep me for next appointment. So next appointment's gonna be a big appointment because it's my glucose appointment. So I don't know how they do it at your doctor's office, but at mine, they give you the drink, the glucose drink, a month before your actual glucose appointment. And that way you can drink it at home and then just go in an hour later and they'll draw your blood. I know some people like they have to drink the t drink like in the office and then sit there for an hour, but mine isn't like that. They just prep me about the glucose test. I know everyone is different. For mine, I can eat and drink beforehand. Um, there's like no restrictions or anything like that. And then I just take it 45 minutes before my appointment and then I go in and then they'll, uh, I, have to, I have to drink the drink within like five to 10 minutes. And then I have to tell them when I finish the drink, what time, and then that way they'll know to draw my blood an hour later. And then they'll get the reading from that. They had three different drinks to choose from. They had a lemon lime one, which they said tastes like flat Sprite. I know I've had that one before, it's pretty good. Then they have an orange one, which they said tastes like flat sun kiss. And then a third one, which she said was the most popular, is the fruit punch one, the red one. So I couldn't remember if I've done the orange one or the red one. I know I've done the lemon lime one because that's like the newest one. They came out with that a few years ago. Uh, I think I've had the orange one before. I'll have to go back in my videos and look. So I picked the red one because I want to do a different one each time. So I picked the red one. So I have it downstairs in my fridge, just chilling. I've heard it's easiest to take um, cold. So I'm just gonna have it chilling in my fridge for a month until I take it in January. I did show it to my husband and I was like, don't touch this, don't drink it, it's for me. <laughs> Cause knowing me, if I didn't say anything about it, it would be gone. That's all good to go. I'm not worried about the glucose test at all. First of all, I haven't had gestational diabetes in my first two pregnancies. I know every pregnancy is different, so there's always a chance, but I'm not really too worried about it. And I know a lot of people have horror stories about how bad the glucose drinks are, but honestly, I think they taste great. I don't have any issues with it. Some people say it makes them nauseous, it makes them feel bad. I have no side effects from drinking the glucose drink. So if you ask me, those people are being babies because the glucose drink is yummy to me. So I'm not worried about it at all. So I have that coming up. And then also they gave me a paper giving info about the Tdap shot. 
so they're going to give me that at the next appointment as well and that's to protect baby from whooping cough. I got the Tdap shot with uh, my first two pregnancies and I plan on getting it for this one too. Gotta give baby all the protection that they can get because I think they don't get the shot for to protect for a whooping cough for like two months or something. So definitely plan on getting that. And then also they gave me a paper about registering at the hospital. I don't know if this is like all hospitals, but mine likes you to register before you come in just so that like, I guess they have all your information and know to expect you. So I already went online and did that and it was just putting in my information, insurance information, um, what hospital I plan on delivering at, just different stuff like that. So I have all that done, so that's good to go. And then my doctor came in and asked how I was doing and I said, I was fine, I just feel huge. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. Um, and then she had me lay back. She measured my belly uh, for the fundus height. So I guess that's when it starts is the appointment after the 20 week anatomy scan. That's when they start measuring your fundus height, which makes sense to me because finally your belly is like big enough. So she said I'm measuring right on track, which I've been that way for all my pregnancies. So that did not surprise me. And then she got the Doppler out and found the heartbeat almost right away. And baby girl's heartbeat was like in the 140s, which is so funny. I talked about this in my other vlog, but the old wives tale says higher heartbeat is girl and lower heartbeat is boy but my pregnancies have been the complete opposite my boys when i had them were in like the high 150s low 160s and baby girls has always been low like in the 140s this whole time so that wives tale is not right with me but anyway she said everything was looking great and just come back in four weeks so literally she was in my room for I don't, I don't even know if it was five minutes. It was so fast, so super fast appointment. I scheduled my next one. I'll be going on Martin Luther King Day in January, so that'll be nice because Anthony will be off of work. He can watch the kids for me. I usually go during nap time anyway, and Anthony's just working from home. So yeah, that's when we're gonna do that, and I'll have the glucose tests and all that fun stuff, so. We're getting there, getting closer to baby coming. Super exciting. I can't wait for her to be here. We've been getting some baby girl clothes as Christmas presents. Christmas is right around the corner. I think today's the 22nd, so three days till Christmas. So we've been getting some cute little outfits for a baby girl and I just can't wait to dress her up. Um, my mom already went and bought some bows off of Amazon to put in her hair and we've been stockpiling diapers. So I'm feeling really prepared and we have all of the, a lot of the baby stuff just in storage in our crawl space. So we'll get that out once it gets closer. The main things we need are a car <laughs> because we need a bigger car. My car, Anthony's car is small. Um, and then it's just like little odds and ends. Like I need a new, a new baby book for this baby. And I really like a rocking chair because ours is kind of falling apart. Um, I'm not sure if Anthony's gonna let me get a new one or not because it's a piece of furniture and furniture is expensive. Um, and then of course I want like baby girl crib sheets and different things like that. But she's gonna be in a bassinet for the first couple months anyway, right next to our bed. So not super like in a time crunch, but yeah, I'm feeling good about it. I don't know if you can see it, but I did get a cold sore on my chin. It's actually almost gone now. And I haven't gotten a cold sore in, I wanna say years. I used to get them all the time when I was little. Um, and as I've gotten older, I've gotten them less and less. So I'm not sure if that's baby or just the changing weather. It's gotten really, really cold here. So I don't know, but have been dealing with that. I have been um, experiencing Braxton Hicks. I know I don't talk about them, every time in my weekly vlogs. They do happen about weekly. They happen maybe once or twice a week. One day I had them twice in one day. It was like I had one and then several hours later I had another one. And it's just like a tightening in my belly that lasts just for a couple of seconds. And it's not painful, but I can definitely like feel it. So just my body getting ready. It's just interesting because I know I didn't get them in my first pregnancy. I don't think I got them in my second. 
till like maybe right at the end. So this one they've been starting since 20 weeks I think or maybe a little bit before. So my body's just prepared I guess preparing my body to give birth. I hope I'm hoping that's a good thing and that means that I'll go into labor early. I've never gone into labor before my due date before so we'll see if this one is different but I'm hoping that's my body like preparing. Yeah, I guess we'll see. My boobs have definitely gotten bigger so and more veiny. So they definitely like getting ready for that milk production, which is good because I need that to happen because formula is expensive. I've definitely been a lot thirstier, drinking a lot more, which is good. So not always eating a lot more, but I am drinking a lot more, which is always good. Well, I don't know if I talked about this in my last vlog, but Anthony has felt baby kick for the first time. I feel like I talked about this, but maybe I didn't. But yeah, probably like last week, he felt baby kick for the first time. He had his hand on my belly and was feeling her moving around and then also kicking. And it was in the evening, so she was going crazy like she usually does. And he was like, oh my, he was like shocked with how crazy and active she is. So that was special that he was able to feel her and connect a little bit. She can start hearing voices like outside my belly. So I'm hoping she's starting to recognize his voice, recognize the kids' voices um, as time goes on. I think that's gonna be it though. Um, I don't have too much more to talk about. And of course there's always next week if I forget anything. So thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, um, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, I guess I don't remember when my last like belly update was, but I'll give you guys an update because why not? So this is my belly at 25 weeks. So here it is with the shirt on and then I'm just wearing leggings so I can just show you guys. This is my belly getting very, very big. So, but apparently measuring right on track for uh, 25 weeks, which is pretty shocking because I feel a lot bigger than that, but there you go. There is my belly Bye guys